Three sounds for beatboxing, P, T and K. P is the bass, or the kick. T is the hi-hat, and K is the snare. You put them together, P, T, K. Being a working musician these days is, is tricky, it's hard. It's not for the faint-hearted. People will try it on with you and you have to be very thick-skinned about it. It takes a lot of energy, a lot of stamina. My, my setup, it was a mess. From an audio perspective and from a workflow perspective, it was stressful. That's why I decided to learn how to make software, you know, and hack things so that they do what I wanted them to do. I mean, the computer is doing everything, it's the workhorse. Working with Bjork was probably the single most inspiring collaboration I've ever done, just in terms of the way it made me view myself as a musician and the amount of ambition it gave me to go out into the world and be like her. It made me realise that there's more to beatboxing than just copying Snoop Dogg beats and making people cheer. With young people, they're always asking me, like, how do I break it? How do I get into it? And it's like, you will have to basically give your life to this. So as long as you're prepared for that, then great. But if you have any doubt about whether you really want to do this, it might not be for you. But the anxiety is always there. It's taken me a long time to get used to it and to be able to manage it and accept that it's normal to be worried, it's normal to have nerves, and like they actually will push you forward and, and drive you on. The traditional music industry collapsed. All those managers and industry people, they're all focusing on live and they're panicking about it. There's a generation of artists like myself who, who only ever grew up doing live. We're used to just making our living from performing and making people dance and making people happy. And I think that's working in our favour in terms of like, this kind of new version of the music industry. If you grew up with it, then you're not anxious about it.